start already, shall we? If you find it too long. Sorry, I just love details. Lies bring pain, but in same time save us. This is what some were saying, but they are not wrong. We all lie, but a white lie sometimes, and a black lie all the time. Lies and hearts. When you turn 17, the lies your soulmate tells will be writing on your wrist. Every lie the little one or even the big one tells. And now, it's June 10th, the day Iwaizumi turns 17. Iwaizumi is honestly not very interested in the topic, he just finds it annoying to find his wrist with lies written on it. But at the same time, he wants to know who his soulmate will be, and how many lies can he tell in a day, because if his soulmate lies a lot, it means that he will deal with the lying person all his life. But everyone has reasons to hide the truth, right? Right? Isn't the infringement of privacy wrong? Iwizumi himself doesn't know the truth, but if the person who will invalid his privacy and see his lies written on his wrist is the same person who will spend his whole life with him, then why not? Iwizumi sighed, just grabbed his bag and headed for the door to get ready to go to school. When he opened the door, he found his childhood friend waiting for him and usually, Huh, Akawa, what are you doing here? Okawa woke up from his world and turned towards Iwaizumi, giving him a smile, which was unknown to Iwaizumi. It was the first time he saw that kind of smile. Ah, morning Iwa. Okawa waved at him. Iwaizumi put on his shoes and walked over to his friend. Why was waiting on the sidewalk in front of Iwaizumi's house? What are you doing here? I can't come to see Iwa-chan earlier? Yeah, you can, but it's the first time you came. Enough chit chat. Let's go, Iwa Chan. I okay, Okawa. The two of them headed towards the school. To be honest, Iwaizumi, it was strange to him. He doesn't know why. There is something strange about Okawa. I think Okawa is not in a good mood today to speak. I mean, I won't complain. I want nothing more than to be near him. The two arrived at the park near Hanamaki's house only to find that Hanamaki and Matsukawa have been waiting there, as always, since they became friends in high school. Hey hey! Hello! Morning! Good morning you two! They separated with Okawa and Hanamaki in the front and Matsukawa and Iwaizumi in the back. So Iwa, hum, it's your birthday today right? Yes, what about it? First, happy birthday! Thanks, second? Lies are on your wrist now, right? Iwaizumi rolled his eyes playfully. Yes. Tell me, have you seen them yet? No, I haven't seen yet. Show me I want to see. Okay, chill. We'll both see. Iwaizumi showed his wrist, only to find that his wrist had been filled with four lies so far. What the? You haven't even started yet, and look at this. Matsukawa was amazed at how many lies came out, and it was only the morning. I've slept well. I will eat on my way to school. I'm fine. I'm fine. Why? Is he okay? Can't you see it's definitely a lie? I know I know. I just... This look bad. I know this. If I knew who he was, I would force him to take care of himself more. You will surely do. What you mean? You always force Kawa to take care of himself so I wouldn't be surprised if you did the same to your soulmate. I want Okawa to be fine and better. I can't imagine what will happen if I saw him in the hospital again. I know you told me how hard this was for you. We were 13. He exhausted himself, didn't eat, didn't sleep, put too much pressure on himself. I don't want to see this again. Iwaizumi's expression indicates how close he is to tears. Matsukawa noticed. That's why he quickly changed the topic. Do you have an idea of what is the meal of the day in the cafeteria? Iwaizumi returns to normal, and look at Matsukawa and think, but he didn't think long until two of them jumped towards them. Iwa-chan, don't tire your head thinking, because there is nothing in the cafeteria today. Huh? I didn't know, I didn't bring anything. Iwaizumi felt his wrist prick him, but ignored it, and continued talking to his buddies. Sigh. Don't worry I brought you milk bread. Ah, 
Iwa, you don't have to. No, I want. Because you're an idiot to take care of yourself. Mean. And they are here. Acting like lovely birds. Hey, hero. Hanamaki ran quickly and Okawa was chasing after him. The door of the school was in front of them. This means that they reached the schoolyard. Idiots. Tell me about that. Today's training is over. Third years stay in the club room. Four of them stayed because they don't have any classes for an hour. Iwizumi and Matsukawa talk about random things. From school to food to what did they do yesterday. They talk and laugh about random things. Okawa was distracting himself in his locker. Next to him was Hanamaki who had finished changing his clothes and was just waiting for his classes to start. Are you sure you're okay? Yes. I am fine. Yeah, fine. What a nice thing to say with dark circles under your eyes. Less energy than usual, and also a little red with dark circles. As if you were crying. Nice. Hum. I was meaning something else. You know what? I'll not push you to tell me. Okawa stopped doing what he was doing, only sighed, turned his head toward Hanamaki, and smiled at him. A forced smile. Don't worry too much, I'm just not me today. You didn't get enough sleep, right? Okawa sighed, picked up his bag and left the room and closed the door, leaving Hanamaki standing anxiously. Hanamaki went to the other and sat down with Iwaizumi and Matsukawa. What's up with him? I don't know. He doesn't answer anything from me. Maybe he is tired? Because today's training was more difficult than usual. This thing never stops showing me lies. Iwaizumi stopped talking when he found the words lie surprising him on his wrist. I don't need anyone. I don't need saving. I'm fine. It seems that Iwaizumi's soulmate is talking to himself. Because if he was talking to anyone, his soulmate would just say, I'm fine. And not that large sentence. Iwa? You good? That soulmate of mine, he's not well, and it's bothering me so much. He lies a lot. Looks like he doesn't want anyone to worry about him. Well, he failed to do this. This comes as no surprise to me that you care about your soulmate so badly, and you don't do who he is yet. Yeah, Iwa seems like a tough guy, but he cares about everyone. Stop talking about me and my soulmate. Let's go to our classes. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. They finished the school day, and they finished training too. It's 7 p.m., and everyone is in their house. Iwaizumi is lying on his bed looking at his wrist. He doesn't have enough focus to do his thing. Just staring at his wrist, that gives every 20 minutes a new lie. I'm not hungry, mom. It sure is a lie. I'm fine, no need to worry. Idiot sure your mom would worry if you didn't eat. My day was good. Why does he say something like that? If his day was not good then let her know, and say it's not a good day, and go to your room. It's only today. I'm going to sleep now. He won't sleep tonight, apparently. Iwizumi was reading what his soulmate was saying from his wrist, until a sentence appeared that made him even more anxious. I wish I could just disappear or die. What? Iwizumi stared at his wrist for an unknown period of time, but he stopped staring when he heard his phone which has also been giving notifications for an unknown time.
Thank you.